his legacy will continue. His legacy in the lives of people. But his church is not a church to continue. So that the people who want to try to start holding services, you may try now wanting to start holding services, but something will force you. The church will close down. She says this was the message that the Lord had given her and she had to speak it accordingly. Prophetess Christiana Eunice explains that the late Nigeria televangelist was a God's general who was mandated for a specific purpose on earth. Not every church that a founder dies, dies. The church continues. The legacy will continue, but the church will not continue. This is the exception of the prophet of God who passed on to glory in person of prophet TV Joshua. We are not wishing anything back, but because his kind of ministry, the kind of mandate he has, is a shoe that no one there can wear. No, I mean, no one can continue the synagogue church of all nations. No one can carry that name to call the man in the synagogue, prophet TV Joshua. No. It's a mandate. He's a general. So most times, generals like that, their ministry, sometimes, not all, but his kind of mandate, his church is not to continue. Prophetess Eunice is the founder of the Covenant of God Church Praise Sacrament. Speaking on this special broadcast, said, according to the instructions from God, there should be no services to be held in the scorn for some reason. But this is a message for those who are still there, thinking that they can carry on his work. They can fit into his shoes and they want to continue to hold church service. This is the message. Do not hold church service. If you need my advice, I will give you advice. You can turn the place to a tourist place. The power of God is still there. You can allow people less, just like them. You see, where Paul and Silas, when they prayed and the prison condition, I mean, the prison was broken. You see, they still left the place like that. People still go there just to look at it as a tourist view. And one or two of them, you can sometimes say a prayer there, and the Lord can equally release them. So that is how the synagogue church of all nations is supposed to be. So this is the message. If any of you should try to say you want to continue holding service, what God has showed you, not once, not twice, not thrice, I mean, it has always continued, there will be a forceful shutdown. A forceful shutdown, a devastating shutdown. What I'm saying is that when this shutdown comes, people will not begin to say that the man is not of God. He is of God. But it is just the problem is the people are they ready to obey instruction in righteousness? So that when this first push shuts down, but who will not say, ah, you see, see the end is of Satan? No. His kind of mandate is not for the church to continue to run. Anyone to continue to run the church. But his legacy in the life of people, building people, is to still continue. So that is the message. She said failure to adhere to these instructions from God could lead to an unpleasant repercussion. Please, in order not to cause a forceful shutdown that will not be good, that may even clear life, it will not be good in the eyes of people. When this forceful shutdown comes, hear me, it is God that has done the forceful shutdown. And God can use anything to cause a forceful shutdown. God can use anything, and the thing may not be pleasing in the eyes of people. It will be fire outbreak. God can use it to forcefully shut down the place. It was not Satan, but it is God. So please take notes, take notes, and take notes. I have given this message before. The way he left his house without holding service, that is how his house should be. He died in the walk, not holding any service. He knew. That was why he did not hold any service. So no one should continue the service because that is how his house should continue. This message is coming at a time that Mrs. Evelyn Joshua had announced that church services will resume soon at the scorn. I know that we have all missed the congregation of our brethren for the past one and a half years. But let me assure you that as God leads, we shall also converge again and worship God together as a family. So watch out.
Currently, the SCOAN is embroiled in a succession dispute which appears to impact the successes chalked by the founder of the ministry.